Hello everyone, this is Aida Qolami from Agrimat Self Research Company and here I am to teach you how to subtract cells in Excel. So if you're watching this video and if you have searched for um, such a query, maybe you're um, a little bit beginner to Excel. So there's no problem, we've all been there uh, some days before and uh, you can learn it by um, exercising and reading and watching uh, these tutorials. So that's totally okay. If you're searching for a subtract function in Excel, I should tell you there's nothing like that in Excel. So like sum or average or these uh, pre-installed, maybe uh, we should call um, function, there's no such thing uh, for subtract. So what you should do is that you should um, do it uh, manually and you should do it yourself, which is so simple and easy and I will show you how to do it. So at first, like any other calculations or function callings in Excel, you should start with equal mark. So I first write an equal mark, then I select the first value that I want to subtract something uh, from it. So let's say I have some student marks and then I have I have made some mistakes in um, calculating the marks. And here I have the mistake values. So I want to subtract um, this mistake from um, student marks. So that it should be 90 instead of 95. It should be like 80 instead of uh, 83. So uh, that's what I mean. What I will do here is that I first select the um, first value. Then simply I click on subtract um, sign in my keyboard and then select the second one. So that's how you write a simple and easy function for yourself. I click enter and boom and that's the calculation made. If I want to have it for all the cells, what I want to do is to go to the to this bottom right um, corner of the cell, click on that and pull it to all my desired cells. And that's how it's copied. So that's it. But how about what if you want to subtract all these numbers from just five? So let's say I don't have these numbers and I want to delete them. And as they are uh, relative referenced uh, cells, um, now they are subtracting from zero and so, but we don't have to do anything with them. And we are uh, talking about this same value to be subtracted from, from all of this. So what I will do here is to use an absolute reference cell. So what I mean by that is that I first select the first cell, then I put a, um, you know, a subtraction mark, and then when I select this value, I should have some dollar signs um, in here. So uh, basically, you can do it with some, um, you know, keys in your keyboard. I think it's uh, F5, but as long as I'm now recording, uh, pressing this uh, um, this uh, function, keep, um, keys in my keyboard will make some, um, you know, problems with my recording. So I, I do not do that. So I manually put dollar signs. So when I click enter and I pull this, um, you know, uh, cell to other cells, you can see that they are all subtracting from the same five value. So that's how you will do it. And there's another also another way to subtract the same number from the cell, which is first you should, this is, you know, the paste special way. So I want to use paste special option. So what I will do is that I first select the cell. I control C so that I copy it. 
and then I go to select this range. Again, when I select this range, I right click, go to paste special, and here I click on subtract. I press OK, and you can see that these are all subtracted from 5. So, I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video and bye.